during the time I am in confinement. I hope you will not be remiss in seeing that the crops of apples and pears I purchased are got in good time, and that on my return they may be ready to be transformed into that delicious liquid cider and perry. Let me beg you may see that all the potatoes I bought are got up by men who are very particular in clearing the grounds. I hope you will send by one of my travelling teams a hose head of the best cider to treat my unfortunate companions with, as I truly sympathise with them on their misfortunes and remit to me at the same time a few pounds to purchase grubbables with, as I stand in great need. You will know the time when I shall be liberated, and I beg you will provide a feast of the choicest viands the country can produce, and send written invitations to the whole of my customers to come and spend the day that they may, con may congratulate me on my return from prison, as my offence is but of a trifling nature, as I was committed on the Vagabond Act only. If you have no small bills, you need not go to the bank, as the shopkeeper, who committed me for snoozing under his hayrick, will no doubt let you have a few pounds of tobacco for me, till you can conveniently discharge the demand, as it is considered a very salutary herb in a place of confinement. I hope you will be on the alert in seeing my orders completed with respect to the cider business and leave off haunting so many gin shops as dilatoriness most probably will terminate in our ruin. If you choose, may procure an apron or two full of ballads of the best authors as, though we are a little advanced in life, I think the country fairs would seem quite unfurnished without us. Let me beg you will comply with the above request. God bless you.